Hi guys, this is Peter Rodner with another app tutorial. So the app I'm going to show you is Deck. You can find it on the Google Play Store. It's a great app to help students with their presentations and it should make classes go a lot smoother. So when you open up, um, the first thing they'll show you is any app or uh, presentations you've created before. So I'm going to press the Create button. It's on the top right hand button. Now as soon as they open it up, all they want you to do is focus on the outline and what you want to say in your presentation. So to start off with, you're going to have a title. So something we've been talking about is childhood obesity. So I'll make a little presentation about this. And like I said, it's super simple. We don't have to worry about fonts. We don't have to worry about colors. So next, I'm going to go to my second point. And maybe the second point I'm going to bring up is the idea that fast food okay, is unhealthy. Okay. So now that I've added that, obviously I do want to add images or other things to help present my uh, project. So here, when I press this little plus sign, I have the opportunity to either have images, charts, diagrams, or tables. So I'm going to take an image, and I can go to my gallery, and I'll take this picture of fast food. Now I can crop it if I want, if I need to change it. I can also rotate it if I need to. Um, so once you're happy with what you have, you can actually put in um, a caption to this uh, if you want to say something specific about this fast food. Um, for example, uh, they are very fatty. Okay. And then once you're done, all you have to do in the top left corner, there's a little backwards arrow and it'll bring you back to the outline since that's what we're working on. So I'll add another point. So maybe I'll add and I'll say something about McDonald's. Okay. So McDonald's as is um, attract children. Okay. And I'll show you one of the uh, functions that you can do is the diagram. <clears throat> So the diagram, you do get several options. You can have a drop down. You can do process. You can do relationships. Um, you also have different types of charts that you can use. So I'll just use the pyramid one. It's pretty simple. On the top right, I'll click submit. And then what you can do is obviously edit this. So, so here I'll say um, advertising. And obviously, they advertise on television. They advertise on the internet, and they advertise now on mobile media. Okay, so once I'm happy with that, if I'm not, I can always change it on the top right. It lets me go through different ones um, if I want to change it, but I like the pyramid one. So uh, once again, I'll press the backwards arrow, and it'll bring me back to my outline. So one other point I'll maybe make about my project is that they use cartoon characters to attract children. Okay. And as we all know, they have Ronald McDonald, so I'm going to add Ronald McDonald. So once to you're done, um, this is where you actually get to decide what kind of theme you want. On the top okay, right hand I'm corner, good. you can decide what type of theme you want. Let's see. Ronald McDonald. Good. And then I'll press the back button. And all we have to do is end with a final conclusion. Um, in addition to that, if you need to make some edits or changes to your actual slides, you can still do that. So the first button right here, this is going to let you reorganize. So for example, if when they're doing the script, they realize, oh, we want to change this around. Um, we can move this around to different locations in our presentation. Okay. Also, if I want, I can duplicate a slide. So if I have this slide here and I want to duplicate it, that'll be this button right here, and I can duplicate it. So now I have two of the same slides. If I don't like that or I want to delete a slide, I just click the trash button, and I can just delete one of the slides. Okay, so 
let's go to the themes. It does provide you with, um, sorry, eight themes uh, total that are free. It only came with about four of them. I had to just download four more, but it only took a few seconds. The classic is what they usually give you, but they have several other ones. When you click them, you can do a little preview of them to see what they look like. Um, that way you can decide if that's something that you want to do. Um, so let's just do the paper airplane one and I'll say present. So as you can tell, um, it's going to go through the slides. Now, what you can do is you can click on it manually and it'll go through with the animations which are really good and everything looks really clear. Um, but if you want, you can also on the bottom right hand corner, there's a little delay and you can actually have it go through your presentation all on its own. So while students are just talking, this presentation can be running in the background. So as you can tell, it's done an excellent job of really putting everything together. The only thing students are going to have to focus on is what they want to actually present. Um, and I think this will be a lot quicker than using the Polaris Office or the Kingsoft software that you guys are using already. So I hope this slide overall has helped you out and I hope you guys are able to use this in your final presentations. If you have any questions or need any help, you're welcome to ask or leave a comment in the bottom of the box. Okay, thank you for listening.